YouTube, how the fuck you doing? Uh, hey guys, Nate Shot back here, and I have another episode of Snipers Going Ham. And, um, I've got a, a lot of good feedback on the stories that I tell, and people enjoy when I tell stories. So, I have a story from MLG Dallas this past weekend. Uh, I think it's pretty funny, and, um, it, it occurred in the hotel room. So, basically... It was the first night of our Dallas adventure, playing video games and such. So we're in the okay, hotel room at the guy. Loft Hotel in, in Dallas, Texas. And we have four people in our room. Nice, nice, it's nice. me, Proofy, Big Timer, and Merc. And there's a problem. They overbooked the hotel, nice. so they gave us uh, nice, one dude. room with one king-size bed. That's it. Nothing else. So we got four people. And, you know, we're a team, but our team chemistry isn't that high. So we're not rocking out four to one bed. That's just kind of weird. So we decided to call the front desk. Nobody else wanted to do it because everyone else was kind of tired. And I just got there. So I was just like, shit, I don't give a motherfuck. I pick up the phone. I hit the aloft front desk. And a guy answers the phone. He's like, hi, can I help you? Like, really quick. Uh, with an accent. So I just like, uh. I wonder, if you, I wonder if you understand me that well. And th that's not supposed to be racist, I'm just saying. Like, his, his speech didn't seem that top-notch, so I wasn't sure if, uh, if he was, like, a native English speaker. So I said, I, uh, we need uh, two beds in this room. Um, we have the wrong room, apparently, so we need, we need two cots up here. He said, okay, right away. Thank you, sir. I was just like, hell yeah, that wasn't that bad. I have to get some beds. It's going to be a good night. I'm gonna have my own bed. I'm not gonna be sleeping with three other guys. So, five minutes pass, and this entire time we're just thinking, damn, we're pretty tired. We need these beds. And what happened was, is somebody knocked on the door, and I was like, fuck yeah, bedtime. And I opened the door, and it's a woman working for the hotel. Uh, she, she was a Mexican woman. Uh, she didn't speak English too well, and she hands me about eight towels stacked on top of each other, and then she hands me two handfuls of soap and shampoo. And I'm just sitting here like, hmm, she must have the beds on the other side of the hallway or something. I'll keep the door open. Well, I, I go to put this stuff away, and I look, a, look across the hallway, and... That bitch was gone. She was long gone. I'm not sure if she took the elevator or sprinted down the stairwell, but she was nowhere to be found. So I'm just thinking, huh, well, maybe she's coming back with the beds. And I'm getting pretty tired, not going to lie. I'm just sitting here. You know, it's probably like 12 in the morning because my flight was a little late. And we're all just like, shit, we need to call again. So nobody else wanted to man up and do it. So again... Nate Shot took the reins and I picked up the phone. Hit the lo uh, loft front desk button. Same guy comes on the phone. He's like, Hi, what can I get for you? I'm like, You know what? Well, we called about like 10 minutes ago. And we asked for two beds and she oh, came with towels and soap. Yeah, push up, push up, push we need up. two beds. And he's like, Okay, sir, sorry, what do you need? I said, Two beds. We need two cats. I said, Both. One more. Two cats, please. 515. That's, that was our room. Right, on, he's like, Okay, right away, sir. So I'm like, all right, now this now shit is getting serious. We're about to get some beds. We're about to get some good sleep. Wow, you so, you so I was excited. Talk, dude. It took about five to ten minutes to get another show, show door knock. Me. And sure enough, it comes. Nice. And I mosey on over to the door. Nice. And I, and I whip it open. Quick, quick, quick. It's the same woman. Same Mexican woman. Her English wasn't too good. And she's got a fucking stack of cups. It's about 20 cups stacked on top of each other. She, and she says, you called wow. for cups? Right. And I'm just like, what the fuck? I, I, I was, I was baffled. I, I mean, come on, man. Who, who calls for cups? And so I said, no. Uh, I, beds. Two beds. So we knew she couldn't speak English too well. And I took three years of Spanish in high school. I don't remember anything from it. But I remember beds. It was like camas or comas. So I said... Uh, nosotros no way, no necesitamos way. or whatever. I oh said, we need two beds in Spanish. Dude. Somehow I said it. So, 
She says, okay. Oh, there's money on the other side. Ten minutes left. Ten minutes later, sure enough, no call. No call back. And she doesn't come back. So I call the front desk once again. I said, we never got our beds. This guy is, says, you know what? We, we only give one per room anyways. So this woman finally comes about an hour after this entire ordeal with one bed. They overbooked our rooms and still couldn't produce us with a second bed. So, I mean, needless to say, we were kind of upset, but we, were, we, we didn't care just because the entire situation that had happened had made it all right because it was so goddamn funny. Uh, sorry if it wasn't as funny as you thought it'd be, but I, maybe it had to be there, but I honestly thought that was the funniest shit ever. Like, when she came up with those cups, I was just like, oh my god, oh. This, she cannot be serious. But I hope you enjoyed the gameplay. Uh, more snipers going in coming up. Me and Tiger doing our sniper GG. dual ties. GB dual ties. <laughs> so look out for that. Appreciate you guys watching. And uh, you too. See you later.